Well, no one can accuse me of being a stick in the mud, but I have to admit that last year, what with all that rain, I did on occasion get very close to being stuck in the mud. And I've decided that this year, that's not going to happen. I need a motorhome that I can just get into, switch the key on, and drive off, no matter what the weather. And I think I've found just the thing. Here it is. This is a Beemobile EX358. It's absolutely massive. It's chunky. It's got great big knobbly tires. I love it. Now, normally on the motorhome channel, I look at a motorhome and I say, let's go inside and look at the lockers and the shower curtain and the upholstery. But in this case, who cares? Let's go for a drive. We're off. Oh, this is no Ducato. This is no Peugeot Boxer. This is an Iveco daily, just like my Leica, actually. But actually very, very different. It's got a three liter engine, which develops about 170 brake horsepower. It's permanent four wheel drive. It's got a six speed gearbox with a total when you take into consideration the low gear options of 24 forward gears and four reverse gears. Four reverse gears, imagine that. I can't believe that I'm actually driving a motorhome. I'm really high up off the ground and I'm on ground that normally I would steer clear of by a mile. It feels really comfortable. Actually, it is very comfortable. There's no bumping about and the steering is as light as on my motorhome it feels great look at the dashboard all these flashing lights what they are is well this set of lights here is for the differentials the three diff locks and then down here these switches down here and one of them is for the additional fuel tank there's a 150 liter fuel capacity and then there are two little switches down here for the additional lighting on the top. The price of this vehicle starts at around £100,000 and then you can add all sorts of extras as you feel are necessary. And of course, depending on where you're planning to go. But the basic vehicle is really four seasons ready. It's very well insulated and it's got everything you need to just get in and set off on your very own expedition. Now, Beemobiles are made in Germany and they've got dealers in Mongolia and now Manchester as well. If you want to buy one, you can go to the factory and pick it up. The factory's in Germany, of course. And Beemobile customers do exactly that. They've got one who went to the factory and picked up his motorhome and drove it back to Australia. Another one has ordered a Beemobile. He lives in Cape Town in South Africa and he's going to drive from Germany to Cape Town via Alaska? Well apparently that's what he's planning to do, right the way through North and then South America too. So what this motorhome gives you is the ability to make a change from going down to a campsite in the New Forest and head off to places that you haven't even dared to think about, places you may never even have heard of in your entire life. And you will have an absolutely fantastic time. For use driving around town, well, I'm not so sure, but that really isn't what the vehicle's designed for. It's designed for rugged, cross-country, cross-continental use. And I really do want one. Well, that was lots of fun, but I'm exhausted. I need a nice cup of tea and a slice of toast. Unfortunately, 
there's no facility for making toast, but you can have an oven put in right here if you ask them to do that. Other cooking facilities are two burner gas burners there, a sink, and a fridge. Now this fridge is interesting. It hasn't got gas and it hasn't got a 230 volt option. It's 12 volt only. But that doesn't matter because where you're going, it's going to be very sunny indeed. And the solar panel on the roof is going to be able to put plenty enough energy into the batteries to power the fridge. This is the seating, the living, the dining area. There's not a huge amount of room, but there's plenty enough for four people to sit around here comfortably. There's nothing flashy in here. It's all very plain. The fabrics are plain. The table is plain but it's very, very solid. This is really good quality woodwork and it's put together by proper cabinet makers. The windows are great. Where you're going to go, you're going to have fantastic views, giraffes and rhinoceroses and all kinds of things. If you want to, you can have the windows reinforced to resist attempts by people with sledgehammers to get in, which I think is very comforting. After a hard day driving across the Sahara Desert, you're going to want to have a shower and that's no problem because there's a 100 litre freshwater tank on this vehicle and a very nice shower. And don't worry, this isn't a shower curtain, it's a towel. There's a reasonable sink and a nice window so you can keep your eye on the giraffes as you're washing or shaving yourself. And one thing that this motorhome may have in common with your motorhome is that it's got a Thetford cassette toilet. Well, I've had my shower, it's time to go to bed. But as you can see in this vehicle, even getting to bed can be a bit of an expedition. Fortunately, they thought of this. Some very cleverly designed steps. Not Russian steps. And there we are, plenty of room. But I don't want to go to sleep. I want to go for another drive. Oh yes, I really am getting the hang of this. This is absolutely great. I can go anywhere. I can do go down into third. I'm in third gear going up a muddy hill. What about that? There's a really sharp corner here. I'm still in third. I'm speeding up. This is fantastic. Ah! Oh. Ah. oh, actually, that was a bit scary, but I know, I know for certain it wasn't going to go over. Last one at Timbuktu's a sissy!